what was uh, you know what were some of the things y'all were trying to get accomplished on the last uh, you know big day before? Well, we'll continue to have big days, Eli. We got a lot of practice and a lot of work ahead of us. Like every day we come out here, there may be some things we're working out situationally, um, especially at the end of practice there, some situational stuff that uh, trying to improve on. But I thought overall it was a pretty good day. But every training camp, every opportunity we get out here, we we gotta have the right mindset for practice and the right focus. You had uh, mentioned about connecting on our deep deep balls. Um, you know, how's that coming along? Uh, in the play pass, it's been pretty good. On some of the drop back stuff, that's what we're trying to improve. And and we, again, you gotta keep continuing working. We're gonna keep swinging at it. So, um, you know, the old adage: if we we could carve something up and make it look sweet, but uh, we're gonna continue to compete and practice, and we need to hit those. Those things, it's just an area improvement. There's always something D-led. So if that's the narrative of the day you want to run with, great. But it's practice, and we're going to continue to, to take our shots. Yeah. Uh, Frank, how did he look at the end? Felipe? Yeah. Right. Felipe's at a good camp. We ask him to do a lot of things, and uh, you got to work all situations, and you got to have contingency plans. So I feel good about Felipe. I'm looking forward to watching him compete Friday night. Actually, with Felipe, like, do, you ma- do you try and pay some attention to managing – how much he's doing where because because he's doing multiple things like that would seem to be absolutely America, you know? yeah you know bury my hand, head in the sand like we meet all the time we talk about it you know sometimes you have to adjust and practice depending if uh, somebody gets nicked up and he has to take more reps but yes you're very conscientious of, of that uh, Marlin again and Hunt again there's something major we'll tell you so all your guys on different plans some of the guys who weren't out there today you've seen Friday night some guys you probably won't but nothing major that's concerning right now. If there is, I'll let you know. A guy like Edwards, who got hurt a couple weeks ago, a guy like Jalen, who got a little bit, looked like nicked up to. When it comes to Friday, like if a guy has anything, do you kind of be a little bit more cautious? Case by right? case. Case by case. It'll always be the same. Nobody will never, whether it's preseason, practice, regular season, no, no, we're never putting anybody out there that can injure themselves more. That'd never be there. We, we care too much about the health and safety of our players and this team. There's a huge point of emphasis. I mean, you don't want to be the team that's got, I see you guys or whoever comes up there making the trek to Detroit. I'm sure it won't be many of you, but whenever I've talked to you after the game, if we've got 25 penalties, I'm going to be a little irritated, very irritated. So we want to make sure our operation, you know, the whistle, some of the stuff, the holding, we'll coach off that, the pre-snap stuff. We, that's what you want to see, who can go out there and operate. Uh, there'll be a lot of adrenaline going, especially for these young guys, and we want to see them play. You are, at this time this year, versus, I know you don't like to compare, but your second year versus your first year going into the first piece of game. Is there, do you notice a tangible difference in maybe where you want to be? I hope you notice a tangible difference in when I was 30, year old, 30 years old than I was at 40. I mean, every year, every day is an opportunity to grow and improve as a person and as a coach, and that's, that's my charge. That's all I focus on. Like having Michael Vick out there, I know you didn't really get to talk to him, but just the no, I've got, no, I've got to develop a little bit of a relationship with Mike. Um, you know, of the similar era, uh, you know, anybody that was born, whatever, let's say pre 90s, uh, probably one of the most electric football players anybody's ever seen play. Uh, it's been cool to get to know Mike and having him around like all of our former players. Uh, we welcome those guys back with open arms. When the guys come back, uh, they're important to me and to this franchise. Oh, he, no, uh, no, it's, he's co- he's coaching, I think, yeah. and uh, trying to give tips to the players. I love his passion. I mean, I just he didn't even understand what he was watching. And one of them, we were in a uh, teach period, and he's sitting there telling the guy to fire off the ball. So I told him he's going to coach. You might want to pay attention to what's going on. But I love his passion. I do. I love it. <laughs> Did you hear, I mean, because there's like a handful of people, not only just that, that guy's constant, but there are like a handful of people that seem to yell, whether it's like you or players, you're here. I mean, I grew up in a house with 10 kids, like there was chaos at all times, like I, it probably helps me in coaching. I find humor in a lot of things, and I love when people come out here in passion, and if somebody says something, a personal insult to a player or, or whatever, it takes too far, I'll have an issue. But if they're passionate, if you let that stuff on, you, shame on you. Anybody ever yell at you as a, when you were playing that you heard or anything? Yeah, a couple of times. Sometimes it's funny. I, I remember we were in college. We played up at Utah, and uh, we didn't know what kind of crowd to expect. That right on top of us was probably some of the better uh, one-liners I've ever heard. Not appropriate. <laughs> so, trying to get me canceled. <laughs> Receiver uh, Jared Bernhardt and his camp 
Yeah. Ernie? Yeah, he's got it. It's good. He's made an interesting transition. I think he's, um, I'm excited to see him compete. Um, it's not easy to do. Talented athlete. Guys got the right mindset, and uh, we'll see. That's what happens.